Hey guys, Bishmi back with another video and today we got my week 8 match coming up in the BSL Draft League. Now, you know we rounding about to the end of the league. Right now we are 3 and 4 after getting that loss to um, Shade, you know I got slaughtered in that match. But um, yeah, so you know we gotta start getting on another run like we did hopefully we could win these next three weeks um you know this week we are going up against dnd noob eric captain coach of the bonita boat beaks and um let's get right into their team so right off the bat you know i was looking at the team they have a lot of physical attackers um although i'm um, sorry i took the screenshot before um the league site updated but they had Rillaboom over Norivern. I feel like, you know, Rillaboom was really good against my team, but, you know, I feel like they did need a special attacker in Norivern to pair with um, Salazzo. I'm not sure how um, Corsilla and Oro Matisse does on the special side, but, um, you know, I would definitely expect him to bring that to the match. You know, this is the team coming in with the Dracovish, so I have... Um, you know a really bulky team to deal with it so let's get into my picks so first of all if you just look at the ev spreads you see hp defense hp defense hp defense that's because like i said this team is very heavily um physically offensive so i just wanted to bring those three checks um hinata my quillfish coming off the bench with the intimidate taunt to set sit in on um Corsula, Corviknight, this is my lead. I want to set up my Toxic Spikes off the rip, get that started. Um, I could also come in and start pain splitting, let's say the Corviknight, you know, this the this Mon could come in on pretty much his whole team and like, you know, put in work. Um, I plan to be a little bit stally this week, but I will be choosing my moves fast. Um, let's get into Quagsire. So Quagsire coming off the bench, Kinoshita. This is the first match it's going to be in. Um, I actually bought a kind of a kind of annoying set also, you know, I have the Whirlpool and the Binding Band. I noticed that in my last match that Whirlpool failed because Ludicolo went down. But this time, you know, I have a really bulky water in Quagsire. Um, this is also my Water Absorber coming in on Dracovish for free. You know, I'm, this thing doesn't have anything that could really hurt my Quagsire too much. Um, I just got the Haze in case his Corviknight tries to set up you know i do i know he likes to run that um weakness policy set so i could just sit in there whirlpool recover haze and scald it and binding band allowing um my opponent to stay locked in for five turns um i got another annoying set with feral thorn leech seed protect body press knockoff um i'm not bringing the grass move because i feel like um you know he could really he could wall out right on really well you know a fire punch is gonna hurt but you know i am max defense max hp i don't expect him to be doing that much but you know it looks like these three could kind of get sauced up by noe Vern and salazzo so let's get into my next three picks so we're bringing pelipper this week this is going to be my especially defensive wall we left clay to home because you know we got just a lot of walls um so yeah, you know the usual slow U-turn hurricane for like um, throw, I guess. You know, I just wanted that flying type stab. Looking at it, I might change it to knockoff though. Um, you know, we got the weather ball that's gonna be hitting Salazzo really hard. And um, I guess hurricane could work out on Noivern too because unless Noivern is um, physical, he doesn't have a attack to hit um, Pelipper for like super effective. And if he is physical, you know, I could just stay in with my other three mod, uh, three walls and Pulliper could come in easily on Salazzo, I'm pretty sure, you know, being especially defensive. And, uh, you know, Damp Rock, regular Pelipper. So now let's get into my finally attacking mons. So we got the Dreadnought G-Max, of course, rocking the Life Orb, um, you know, Liquidation, Earthquake, Jawlock, Head Smash, regular set, um, you know, just a lot of coverage for my G-Max. I'll try not to eliminate my um, rain with the with the max rockfall next time, but Dreadnought um, in the rain will outspeed you know his whole team. I'm pretty sure unless his Noe Vern is scarfed, but I don't think I stay in on that. And then we got Chandler. So Chandler is just another breaker um, to cover for 
the holes that um, Dreadnought can't hit. Um, this is mainly gonna come in on um, Durant, Corviknight, um, maybe Salazzo. I have the flash fire in case he wants. He tries to like you know flame my uh, my Feral Thorn. I'm I'm rocking the Choice Scarf so that it could be really fast. You know my speed control. And I really like it in this match, you know, Noivern is looking kind of scary, but with um, Pelipper and Dreadnought, I should be able to get that out the way. You know, I got the water ground type for more Pico, and let's get right into that match. Alright, so here we are. We got connected with Coach Eric, and let's see who he brought to the battle. Um, forgot to find a pen before we uh, started but I guess I'll be alright. So, Noe Vern and Throw did not expect he does not bring his Dracovish. Interesting. Um, he has the right on. So, let's see. I still love Quillfish as a lead. You know, um, I feel like he might want to run everything through um, Corviknight. You know, that throw is looking very scary. I have um, my Chandelier. Not sure if he has knockoff. Not sure if he gets knockoff. Let me just run that real quick. Because if not, then Chandelier should be able to come in and throw pretty easily. Throw, let's see. So he does get access to knockoff. Oof. Alright. So, like I said. Let's leave Quillfish and see where it goes from there. Oh man, I definitely over prepared for um, his Dracovish, more Pico, and Durant, which he did not bring. Surprised he has the item. Let's get right into that. Not sure who he wants to use to um, stall out my G Max. Maybe right on. But let's see. I'll just turn this down. Sabito, he let off with throw. Interesting. Not sure why. He might go straight for the knockoff, but I'm gonna get this intimidate off. Um, might even go for circle throw. You know, uh, should be fine though. Let's just start off with these toxic spikes. It looks like he's mold breaker, so he won't be guts. Let's see. I'm faster. Wow. He might have just knocked me off though. Yep. Straight for the knockoff. That did nothing. And that will knock off my black sludge. Um, after that, I'm just gonna go for a liquidation. See, um, you know what the damage is looking like. Oh man, he's bulky too. So he has Thunder Punch. That does nothing neither. Um, here I'm just gonna pain split. Maybe I could have pain split the next turn, but, um, Maybe if he switches, I'll be able to get a lot of health. Let's see what happens. Yep, he retreated. Playing this really quickly. He brought in Corviknight. That is perfectly fine. Um, because I'm going to be getting a lot of health from this thing. Look at that. Um, here, I'm just going to taunt. You know, you always got to taunt the Corviknight. You don't know what this thing might try to do. He didn't Gigantamax either. So... Um, Yep, look at him trying to bulk up. Now, I'm just going to go for another liquidation. He might try to Gigantamax and um, get off the Wind Rage. Okay, so he stays in. Well, I need to get off the liquidation. Not doing much. He presses. That shouldn't do anything. Yep. And it looks like he's a life forward. Um, yeah, I'm just going to liquidate again. You know, I should live a Gigantamax hit. And then I could even, um, I can't plane split anymore since he is lower. Coolfish putting in work off the start. You know, max defense. Intimidate Coolfish. Yep, Gigantamax. Uh, not sure what he might want to go for. We've seen bulk up, he's probably bulk up boost, body press, and creeper. So I could definitely see him trying to get off these um, toxic spikes right now. Can I at least get a defense drop or something? Let's see how much damage this does. Ooh, that's a lot. I'm 
I'm not sure how much I'll recover with um, a pain split. But I don't like that damage, man. And Coolfish can come in and heal up. Uh, let me see if I can pain split, actually. Let's see how much I recover. Oh, I, I don't get anything, so definitely Liquidation was a better move. He just goes for the max level. Oh my god, I eat that though. And for his last turn, I think he'll um, Wind Rage again. Which is fine. Um, I think I might want to just bring in Feral Thorn. Because Hinata, well, my cool fish still has work to do. You know, this thing can still heal up. Let's see what he did. And this is a max defense. Throw Thorn. So he just goes for another ring. Wind Rage. Um, oh my god. I think that's max attack. Um, Corbinite. That did a lot of damage. Um, here with the Iron Barbs. And with my Chopper Berry, I should live. Um, I'm not sure if Life Orb winds up killing him. I'll just leech him. Oh, he roosts. Okay. Fine with me. If I don't miss, that is. Um, I don't want to knock off his life orb because that thing is gonna put him in a predicament. I could even switch out here. Uh, let's see. In case he roosts again, I'll body press. No, I'll protect here. Just to see. If he bulks up. Oh man, that's scary. Let's see what he does. Yeah, okay. I wish I was unaware of Quagsire. This thing is gonna start hitting me for a lot. And I don't think that the um Oh my god, this is happening again with the bulk up Corviknight, bruh. Come on. Um I don't wanna switch this in on an attack. And that's the thing. Yeah, I want to I want to save it. I'm just gonna body press here. Let's see if he uh, roosts. Okay, so he does roost. He got off one um, bulk up. Not sure how much this is gonna do. Let's see. Does a lot, not enough though. And that's the thing. You know what, predicting him to lose, I might have even been better off going for a... Uh, and then bringing in a uh, Quillfish. But you know what, let's let's see this, right? If he does go for the Roos... I'm not sure if he's going to Roos or bulk up. So he bulks up, right? So I'm going to bet he Roos on the next one. Allowing me to bring in um, Quillfish. And then I'll be able to uh, play support. And if he doesn't roost, that's fine because I get to just bring back in um, this guy. I get to bring back in um, Feral Thorn and then just uh, body press, I guess. Let's see. Oh no. Oh man. Let's see. Okay, so he goes for the roost. That, oh, you know what? I don't think I could drop its um, defense. Mm, that Brave Bird is gonna hit for a lot, actually. Let's go for a pink split. Brave Birds. That's gonna KO at this too, right? Yeah. Alright. Um, pretty sure I'm fast enough to revenge kill this though. So I should be able to just go for a flamethrower, right? Does he have anything to check my guy? Wait, what is uh, this guy's base? 
Corvin Knight is base 67, and Pelipper is base 65. So he's definitely faster than me. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna bring in this guy to come revenge kill it. Let's see. Who can he switch into? Maybe um, right on. You know what? Maybe even bring, coming in and um, just tricking it would have been fine. But you know, we start the game with no poison, toxic spikes. We have our Gigantamax. Um, you know, Crowfish was really good for the Corsola, but I believe it should be fine. I think he brings in right on here. Right on probably has Thunder Punch, Stealth Rocks, Earthquake, Stone Punch. Wait, no, this is throw. He'll probably knock off here. Hmm. And that'll knock off my Chopper Berry. So, and he has Thunder Punch. I'm not sure if he's faster. You know what? I'm gonna bring in my Quagsire. Quagsire finally showing up to a match. Yeah, I got the shiny one. Shouts out to Egg. Knock off, right? Yeah. Does nothing. Knock off my Binding Band, and that's fine. Um, you know what? Now that I think about it, I could have just went into Quagsire and hazed it, but instead of letting Goldfish die, but I guess it's fine. I'll just go for the Whirlpool here. Whirlpool, lock it in, and then I could recover Skull at that point. Who did you bring in? Romatis. Corsola. He probably has Giga Drain. Oh, my god. Okay. Um, I don't think... I don't think it stays locked in, but I could just bring in um, Frail Thorn here and knock it off, get that EVLA out the way. Wait, no, this is not EVLA. This is probably the weakness policy set. Yeah, I could have stayed in. That's fine because I'm just gonna go for the um, the Leech Seed here, right? Because he'd probably go for the, the Iron Defense. Oh, he retreats. So maybe that is Evil Light. So what was hit right on me? This thing got Flamethrower. That's fine though, because I could finally bring in Pelter and then go into um, Dreadnought. Perfect opportunity. I feel like this match is going to be really long. And, be and it's all because I let Coolfish go down to uh, Corviknight. If he makes a double great play, but I, I don't, I'm not even sure what he's gonna go for here. Hey, shots out to Art. Let's see what you went for. I hope this is not physical. For, um, no, you He's going for the flamethrower. I'm gonna eat that up, bro. In the rain, max. Oh my god. 11 damage, bro. I heal that right back. And I'm gonna just go for a U turn here. Slow U turn on whoever you have, and then Dreadnought is gonna start it up. Let's see what you play, man. Yep, you'll draw. I believe that's throw. Yep. Um, now let me let me see something real quick. Dreadnought. Rain versus throw. Right? Liquidation. Ooh, okay, so he'll be able to wall me out. Let's see if I G Max. Max Geyser does enough to KO and I start up my Stealth Rocks. Alright. Let's do it. The 
only thing is if he's also defense. Um, if he has a lot in defense, but based on that knockoff damage to um, Quagsire, I don't think he is. Let's see. So we're swimming right now. Let's get it started. This should go okay. I mean, this should go. Yep. So he sacks off his throw, which opens the door for my, um, my chandelier. He might want to bring in, um, Corsola and will o -Wisp, which will nerf my Dreadnought. Definitely. But I feel like that's fine. Um, hmm, maybe not, because I could still, um, you know, go off. What does this thing do? What the heck? Why did you bring this in? Aromatease. Uh, Aromatease. Maybe even maybe he's gonna like wish protect or something. Um, I'm gonna just max quit. I don't know what this thing does. It's scaring me. We'll just go for the max quit. You know what? Uh, the water move would have killed based on that damage. Unless he's gone. unless he was um no he's leftovers I could have killed you bro why did you stay in whatever um energy ball I eat that that's a lot of damage shape. So maybe even, um, I was thinking of Black Falling, because now, um, Jarnob being, like, the fastest thing right now, he could definitely come in and revenge kill it with, like, uh, it, he didn't even bring in Corsola, but, you know, I do have a lot of slow mods on my team still. Brings in this guy. I'm not sure why, because now I'm just, oh, he might even set up rocks, but, you know, Trick Room is active. It's my switch all the time. Sunny day? Hold on. What is about to happen, bro? Don't tell me you have fire punch. You know what? I'm gonna just bring back in for uh, Pelipper. Because now you're playing. Why does this thing have sunny day? I don't care. I don't know. I'm gonna just bring back Impelibrate because I I really don't know why you got this thing in on me right now. Honestly. It looks like he stayed in. I would have been faster there, but let's see. If you went for Thunder Punch, go to. Yeah, yeah, no. Nah. I think, I think Thunder Punch might kill, so I'm just gonna bring back in Feral Thorn. Also, stalling out turns of um, Trick Room. So even there, I didn't even need to switch out. I could have just protected. But I mean, I would have gotten burned. Like I would have gotten hurt for the from the burn. So I mean, it's whatever at this point. Just really, I'm honestly just waiting for this thing. Okay. Um, I think I'll knock off. I could have leech seated. Oh my god. What are you doing? No. Three minutes? Alright, watch this. Watch this play. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to bring in Chandelier on... No, 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 no. I want to bring in Chandelier on a Fire Punch, but he might even Thunder Punch. So I'm just gonna body press. If he fire punches, that's fine. Oh, he withdrew. Probably, um... Okay. Took the rocks damage. I 
just went for press um, in case he thunder punch. But like, I don't know how bringing in Noivern helps you here, honestly. Because I could switch in Pelipper, which is max special defense, let's not forget. And then I get to U-turn back into um, Dreadnought. So yeah, let's see. What is your play, Eric? Sunny day two, boom burst. Like that Does a lot. Wait, is he throw spray? Uh oh. Uh oh. All right. Oh <laughs> no. No. This is definitely gonna kill. Yep. 100. percent Right. All right. The special defensive wall is down. I repeat, the, the special defensive wall is down. I could risk the game here and go for a head smash. I feel like... <sighs> Let's see. Come on, Dreadnought. You gotta... You gotta pull up right now. I need you in this moment. I need you, bro. Come on, Dreadnought. I think Jawlock, Jawlock would have been better, but come on, Dreadnought. Let's see. Let's make it interesting. Yes! Let's go! Dreadnought hit 80% accurate move. Thank God. I believe that's the game because now Dreadnought can um, jaw lock the Corsola and he can liquidate the right period. I mean, the right on. Um, I'm not sure jaw lock kills though, but I mean, at that point, I get to just bring in um, Chandelier. Right. Okay, so jaw lock kills. And I'm pretty sure Liquidation would have killed uh, right on there. So, oh my god, he lives on one. Wow, Dreadnought really pulled up this game too. So yeah, good game to D&D new Eric. It was a great match. Um, sorry for running a little bit of a stall type team on you, but you definitely threw me off not bringing the Dracovish, Durant, or more Pico. So I want to say great game, man, and I'm looking forward to your next one, and I hope you guys are looking forward to my next Draft League videos. Catch you guys later. Peace.